All right, guys and girls. So now once you start using select statements in order to retrieve your data from your database, the results that you are getting is not sorted in any particular order. That means the DBMS or the database is sending the data back to you in unspecified order. So now if you want to apply some rules or you want to sort the results, we could use the clause order by. So now in order to understand the order by, we're going to check the following task. Retrieve all the customers where the results are sorted by scores and the smallest should be first. So now let's try to figure out how we're going to write the SQL statement in order to solve these tasks. So now since we need the customers, that means we are focusing on the table customers. Let's write our select statement first. So select, there is no specifications about the columns. I'm going to use a star from customers. So let's run that and see. As you can see, we have all the customers. But as you can see, it is not sorted by the score. The task is to sort it by the score. The smallest first, then come the highest. In order to do that, we're going to use the keyword order by. So let's have a new line, order by. After that, we need to specify the column that we're going to use to sort our data. The task says it should be sorted by score. That means our column is a score. So the column name score. Now we have here two options, how we can sort our data. We have two ways, ascending and descending. In the task, it says it should be sorted by score, the smallest first. That means we need to use ascending. In SQL, we have the keyword ASC. That means it is ascending. So now we have the order by clause and we should be fine. Let's run the query. Now, if we check the result, you already might notice that the result is sorted differently from the start. So that means we have different sorting now after the score. So the first one is null. It's because the null considered to be the smallest in sorting. After that, we have 350. It's the smallest score from all those customers. Then comes the higher and higher and so on. So now we first or we put a rule how to sort our data and we have solution for our task. One more thing to notice is that in SQL, the default sorting in order by is ascending. That means if I go here and remove the ask, this keyword, and start the query again, I will get exactly the same results because if I don't specify anything after the column name, the default going to be ascending. Okay, so now let's consider one more quick task. And it says almost the same. Retrieve all customers and the result should be sorted by score. But this time, the highest should be first. So that means we need to use the method of descending. The highest first and the smallest. So that means we have the same query. We don't have to change anything. But now after the column name, if I leave it empty, it's going to be ascending. But this time we need to be using descending. So we're going to use this keyword disk. That means descending. So let's run this query. So now let's check the result. We can see already that the list is sorted the way around. So now we have the first record with the highest score. John has 900 and it is the highest then come the smallest and so on. So now we are sorting the list or the result with the descending way. All right. So now using order by sometimes it get a little bit more complicated if you are using not only one column, maybe different columns to sort your results, especially if you have a lot of duplicates inside your data. So using one column will not help you. You're going to be end up using multi columns in the order by. So in order to understand that, we're going to have the following task. Retrieve all the customers where the result is sorted by country in alphabetical order and then by score where the highest is first. So let's try to figure out how to write the SQL for that step by step. So now I'm going to remove everything over here. I write it down order by the first one called country. So the column we need is country. Alphabetical order, that means it is ascending. So we could leave it as a default or we could write ask. Doesn't matter. We're going to have the same result. So now let's check the result for that. So now as you can see that we have the results already sorted by country in ascending way that everything is fine. So we have Germany first, then UK and USA. So it's already sorted, but that is not enough because the task, it says, okay, after that, you need to sort it by the score, the highest first. 
If you check now here the example, those two customers, Maria and Martin, both of them comes from Germany, but Maria comes as first. And even though that she has lower score, so that means after we sorted with the country, we need to sort again those scores. So in order to do that, we're going to put here comma and then write down the score. Then the option here is going to be descending the highest first. So disk. So that means we could use in the order by here two columns. And for each column, we could use different methods in order how to sort it. So now let's run this. And as you can see here again, that's OK, we have it sorted by country. But now Martin comes first because he is higher score than Maria. And this is exactly how we're going to like sort the data using multi columns. One more note about order by is that we could use instead of the column name, the position of the column. So if you can see over here that the country had the position four. So this is the first column, second, third, fourth, and fifth. That means the country had the position of four. So instead of writing country, I could write four. So here the score is the last one is the fifth. So this is like an easy way how to sort the data or use order by. And if I run this query, I will get exactly the same results. But I really don't recommend that because if like you change any structure of your data, like let's say the country will be the position two and the score going to be the position three. Then after you change the structure of your data, you have to go and edit your query. That means I need to change those numbers again. And that is really bad because you might forget about it. So if you write the name, it doesn't matter any changes going to happen on the schema or on the table your query gonna deliver the same results and using the numbers you need to adjust this so i really don't recommend using those numbers the better is to write the full name of the column all right so now in order to understand the order by i'm going to show you step by step what the database is doing in order to execute our statements so first it's going to choose the table so our table is the customers we are using the star that means it can select all the columns so it's going to put it in the results so now once we are not using any where or filters, it's going to select all the data. But it noticed that there is order by. So it's going to like sort the results by each column. So the first column is the country. So it's going to sort it by the country first. So first, the first customer is going to come here. Germany as well, Martin. Then after that comes the UK. Going to sort it over here. And then after that come John from USA. So it starts sorting the results. So we can have here that the country is sorted. And this is the first step. The next step is going to go to the second column in the order by in the score. So it's going to sort the results again. So it's going to check, OK, those two customers. And it's going to see, OK, Martin has higher score and it's going to switch it. So. Let me just do it like this. And Martin going to be the first on the list. Second, we have UK, so that's OK. And then we have those two. We have 900 and null. Null is the smallest and it is OK. So now this is how the database is sorting using the order by. All right, so that was it for this chapter. We have learned how to query our data using the select statements and how to sort the result using order by clause. In the next chapter, we're going to learn how to filter our data using the where clause, where we're going to learn many important operators. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.